we have introduced expressions. In this video, we're going to talk about how we simplify expressions. After all, solving an equation is really simplifying expressions till the end of x equals something. So let's review a little bit what is an expression. Expression. is a combination of constants like numbers and variables and all variables of course an expression can be just a constant so for example expressions like six as an expression six plus x is an expression six plus x plus x squared plus x y times x like that is an expression now when we talk about simplifying expressions first thing we need to do is simplifying every term, each term inside this expression. What is a term? A term is intuitively very easy to understand. It's just like each of these, you know, um, when you have adding, subtraction, multiplying of the terms together, everything in between those addings or subtractions, a component like this, you have constants, times variables or a bunch of a variable together, this is a term. So a, an expression is really uh, adding or subtracting different terms together. So how we simplify a term, because this is kind of the building block of an expression, simplify a term. Now, as we just said, a term is, uh, basically consists of constant, like numbers, let's say constant times variables, right? Times variable, one times another variable, and could be many, many different variables, okay? So in here, simplifying a term is really collecting or combining or merging the same variable together by using power laws, combining, merging the variable together. This is a bit of an abstract to understand, but if you look at an example, it was very, very easy to understand. So let's look at um, an example. For example, how we simplify y to the square times y to the power six. Well, this is very easy by using the power property of a to the power m times a to the power m equals a to the power m plus n. So this is just equal to y to the power two plus six equals y to the eight. And inside one term, we're only going to have one variable and we're going to combine all this, the same variable together by adding the exponent. So this is example one. Example two. How we simplify term like x times y times x to the square. In here, in this term, we have two x's going on here. One has x to the power one, the other one x squared. So we're gonna combine that together, x to the power one plus two times y, and this equals x cubed to the y. And let's look at another example. In here, we're gonna simplify a cubic root of 27 and y to the nine. Now in this, again, we're gonna use the properties of powers. In here, we're going to apply the cubic root to both the constant and to the y nine cubic root. So for 27, one third, to the exponent one third equals three to the power three to the power one third. You know, the third root of 27 is the same as 27 to the power one over three times y to the power nine one over three. And this equals three times y to the power nine times one over three and three y cubed. So in here, we're looking at how we simplify term. Simplifying term is really 
combining or merging the same variable together by using the power property. Okay, so that's a simplifying a term. Now, after learning simplifying term, let's look at how we simplify an expression. Simplify an expression. In here, we're gonna use a terminology that I um, kind of invented. So for each ex, uh, term inside the expression, let's call this, uh, this uh, exponent of different variables like x and uh, x, y. We're already combining, we're already simplifying the term already, right? So you, for each variable, it's only gonna appear once. And x square y or x uh, three over two y square like that. Let's call the exponent here as it's kind of a signature. So in this, the signature is one because there's only one variable x and one. Now this one has two variables. Let's call the signature as one, one because the uh, exponent here is one and one. And this one exponent of two, one. And this exponent is gonna be three over two and two. Let's call this exponent as its signature. Now simplifying an expression will be just combining all the terms with the same signature merge all the terms with the same signature. Again, this is a bit of abstract and let's look at a few examples and you are going to grapple the idea. So first example, let's simplify the expression 2x plus 3x plus 8x. Now look at the signature of 2x. There's x to the power 1. So it's a signature of x1. And this is same as x1. And this is same as x1. So we can combine these um, three terms together. How we do that? We're going to factor the same x out by applying the opposite of distributive law. Remember at distributive law it says A plus B times C equals A times C plus B times C, right? So if we go the opposite way, if you see A times C plus B times C, there's a common C there, I can take the C out. And this is uh, the step, a factoring step. And then we're adding the A plus a and B together. So here, if I factor the X out, it's equals two plus three plus eight times X. And this of course also can be understood intuitively. So two X means there are two X add up. This is three X add up. This is eight X add up. So of course, when you add up all the things together, there will be 13 X adding up, which is exactly the definition of 13x. So in here, we're combining the terms with the same uh, signature together, we get 13x. This is the end of simplifying this expression. Let's look at a second example of simplifying expression. And that will be how we simplify x plus 2x squared plus 5x minus x squared plus two. In here, there are a few different signatures. For example, this one is a constant. So the signature for variable, there's no variable. So you can think about the signature is a constant signature. And for the x, there's an x and a five x, which we can, can, can combine. And then for x squared, which had a signature of two, this is two x squared, and then there's a minus one x squared. So if I write down the different signatures, this is like signature, the first signature. This will be the second signature. And 
and this will be another signature. All right. So let's look at the combination. So for the first signature is a two. For the second signature, x plus five x equals six x, which is almost exactly the same as example one. And then for the signature of x squared, this will be two x squared minus x squared will be x squared. And this will be the final result of the simplification. You cannot simplify further because all these three terms have different signature and different signature, you cannot put them together by combining. And let's look at the final example of simplifying an expression. So this example is this. How you simplify two to the y square minus three y times y of three over two plus phi of y fourth square root of that. Now, first, to simplify this expression, let's simplify each term first. This term is already simplified. We cannot do anything. This term, we can combine those y and y three over two by using the power law. So three y, I'm gonna add them together. It's one plus three over two. And then the last one here, is five y fourth and one half, which we can apply the uh, basic property of powers. So for the first one is two y square. The second one is gonna be three y five over two. And then the third one is five y square. Now, if you look at it, these three terms, two terms have the same signature. This is two y square, this is five y square, we can combine. This one is going to be alone. So we're going to combine these two is seven y square minus three y to five over two. And this will be the final form of simplification. You cannot do further. All right, so this, we talk about how we simplify expressions. There's one little thing we did not cover, which is about expressions involving fraction, fractions. So for example, an example of, of, let's call it a four. So two over three X plus three over X. Can we simplify this? Uh, a basic manipulation can give you, um, um, you know, very clearly you can simplify. This is two over three X by just doing common denominator. This is gonna be nine over three X by multiplying three in the denominator and multiply three in the numerator, we get this and equals 11 over three X, right? This will be the final form. But a different look of this actually, you know, we'll see that this is exactly following the same logic as all the previous examples of simplifying uh, expressions by realizing that two over three to the X, oh, two over three X is the same as two over three X to the inverse x to the negative one, because one over x is x to the power of one minus one, right? This is a basic property of powers. And then this is three times x to the negative one. So if you think about it's a signature, this is x to the negative one signature, and they have the same signature, which we can combine. So we're gonna combine by doing the factoring trick. And inside the coefficients will be two over three plus three and this we can adding fractions with uh, an integer together this will be 11 over 3 x to the next one so in this video we talk about how we simplify expressions which is super important when we deal with uh, an equation uh, involving different ex expressions uh, this is kind of a basic skill and when we talk about simplifying expressions, the first important thing is how we're simplifying a term. And after simplifying the term, we are going to combining different terms with the same signature. It's kind of sounds a little bit abstract. In reality, it's very simple. You're just looking for the powers involved with different variables. If 
every variable has the same power in you know for the two terms then you can combine these two terms 